Hello folks and welcome back to the channel. This is a quick tutorial for a friend of mine. I want to show him how to set up his mod so that he has an easier time packaging it. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is, is we're going to make a folder on the desktop. This will be our mod folder. We'll go ahead and open up and open us a new folder and we are just gonna type this as uh, this is just say example that's uh, gonna be whatever your, the name of your mod is and we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna open this up and inside the inside our mod folder we're gonna make a folder that says data and then we are going to go into that folder and in this folder we're going to make one that says meshes we're going to make another one that says textures if we're going to use scripts in our mod we're going to want a scripts folder and if we're going to have our own custom music we're going to want a music and inside of the meshes folder we're gonna create a new folder and we're gonna we're gonna call it whatever our mod is named and then we'll go back to our data folder we'll go to our scripts folder our scripts folder and we will make one in our scripts folder that is this says source go back to our data folder and in textures same thing make a folder that is the name of your mod example just like that alright that's all you gotta do for that now inside of the actual Skyrim data folder I have it loaded up on my um, F drive so I'm gonna go to this is this is basically wherever you have Skyrim installed you go to Steam program files Steam apps common Skyrim data now in the data folder we have a meshes a scripts music and textures in the meshes folder as you can see I got a bunch of different folders here but I happen to be working on a mod right now for Thunder Estate I have a folder that is TC Estate this has all the meshes from my mod in it makes it nice and easy all I have to do is right click and copy it and then I would go ahead and paste it right into the meshes folder in my ma in my mod folder there it is so okay we're gonna go ahead and we'll delete that I'll delete it but you guys what don't delete your phone you, you know what I mean come on and then I would go back to my main data folder which is not that why do I have two of them? sorry about that I'll go back to my main data folder then I'll go into my textures and as you can see I got one here named TC estate that's the mod I'm working on I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy that and then I'm going to oops wrong one this one and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to paste that right in there keep all your all of your meshes and textures and scripts everything right in your data folder till you're done with your mod then you do this this is when you do this now I will go back to my 
main Skyrim data folder, I will go down and I will find my ESP that I'm working on. I'll go ahead and I'll copy that. And I will paste that right in here, right in the right in the main data folder, Thunder Estate. I'm not using any scripts yet. So I'm not going to put anything in there. Now I do have some music. In my music, I'm going to make a folder. Uh, let me see here. Uh, we'll open it up. TC Estate. Copy. And I will open up my music folder and my mod upload. And I will just paste that right in there. And it's going to take a minute. I got a little bit of music in this mod already. I got like nine tracks in it. So we will go ahead and let this load up. And that's all there is to that. Now, this is, this right now, if this was completely done, it would be ready to go. So I'll go back to my desktop. I have one for Thunder Estate, but I didn't put everything in it yet. So I'm going to rename this. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to dump this one because I don't really need it. And I'm going to rename this one. Thunder Mansion. Now this one is all set up. When I get everything done for the mod, I just go back and like if I add more textures, I'll just go ahead and copy the TC estate again and then paste it right into this and it'll be ready to go. And that's all there is to that. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you liked the video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and share it on social media with your friends as it really helps out the channel. Until next time, guys, remember to keep your sword sharp. Don't be a milk drinker. And always watch the skies, traveler.